Alright guys, how you doing? I wanted to make some more smaller and more simple tutorials. So starting out, I wanted to show you how you can get a Houdini Crane simulation into Unreal Engine using the Niagara plugin. You can download the plugin from GitHub and install it to the Unreal Engine plugins folder. It's pretty simple, it's all explained here. I'll put the link to the site into the description. Also, you will need the Houdini Labs tools, which you can install in Houdini itself um, under the Houdini Labs tool shelf and there should be an install Houdini Labs tools icon here if you haven't already installed it. Now I have a simple uh, particle simulation here, it's a crane simulation um, using these two rocks which both push the grains to the side. It's pretty simple actually. Just I think it's uh, 27,000 particles so not that much. But to get them over to Unreal Engine, you will need this Niagara node. Uh, it's called Niagara, it's Labs Niagara Rob. Uh, just put that down and put in the grains. I'll have here, oh, let me show them. These are just the grains. And I want to bring them over as points. So first off, what you want to do is set them to the origin. I use a transform node to put them to the uh, origin because if they're not at the origin, you will get um, you will not find your your point simulation in Unreal Engine. Also, you have to get the scale right. For me, ten should be fine, and then you just wire it into the Niagara node. Once you have wired it in, you can set the frame range and get the file name. Uh, this one is set to the, uh, the hip file location as well as the name of the hip file with the with the HP JSON ending. It's important that you don't delete this, otherwise I think it will not work. So if you change your name, like change this expression to some random file name, it's important that you keep this uh, ending as well. So then you can set the attributes you want to keep and then you just have to press render. I already have done this, so I will jump right onto Unreal Engine. So here, here's a new project, the starter content or the uh, basic setup already here. We can delete that, let's get rid of it. So what you need to do is you need to get up here to the plugins and search for Niagara. And then you enable the Houdini Niagara plugin. Restart the engine. And let's check if it's enabled. And we see the Houdini Niagara plugin is now enabled. So we are ready to go. Let's close that and open our content draw. Now let's just open the explorer and here at the location of the hip file you will now also find this one it's called a niagara one. Oh, i'm sorry um the dollar os expression names it after the node not not the hip file so um here you will have the file we just exported and we can just drag and drop that in here it will take a while because it's uh, usually pretty pretty heavy and once that has loaded you'll find this Niagara Houdini file so to make that show up you just need to create a new uh, Niagara system let's create an empty one and double click that and here you need to right click add emitter and you'll find the Houdini emitters and the parent emitters and you need to disable the library only because it's a plugin uh, emitter and for some reason that isn't standard enabled so or I'm not quite sure but you need to disable the library only. So here you'll find the Houdini Niagara basic just select that. It's already playing you see this is the uh, standard donut simulation and here we need to swap the simulation to the one we just imported, the Niagara one. Just select that on these three. And now we should be good to go if we play it now. 
you'll find here's our simulation. We will have one problem right now. It's because the scene in Houdini is 40 seconds long. So we need to change this one to 40. Oh, sorry, it changed. Drag, oopsie, that was wrong. Drag that out. This one, 40. And 40. Like this. And now we also need to change the loop duration to 40 as well as the lifetime. Yeah. And now setting this one to 24 and we are good to go. This one should be the exact simulation we also have in Houdini. And if we show the particles here, we also have the 27,000 particles. play it and you see it's the exact same one we also have in Houdini. Now if you want to just put the simulation into your scene we can close this one and just drag and drop the Niagara system into the scene and here you go. This one is the simulation. It will play automatically. I hope I see you in the next one and 